So my friend's telling me is that it's lamb fat, beef meat. Lamb fat, beef meat. Right. Whoa. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Today, I'm so excited because I'm taking you to Chorsu Bazaar, the most traditional, the largest, and the oldest bazaar in the capital. It's right behind me. As you can see, it's a big dome complex. Inside it, there's lots of vendors selling fruits, vegetables, and meats. The freshest fruit, the freshest vegetable, and the most delicious meat. To the left outside is a food court selling like Uzbekistani street food. They have kebabs, they have soups, they have breads. And then to the right, there's also another market selling like silks, craft goods. Basically a huge, huge market. And this is the, the, like the beating heart of Tashkent. This is where everybody comes, all the locals come. And check this out. Right here, behind me, you can see one of the vendors. This is all his stuff, right? So what does he have in there? It looks like uh, cauliflower. So there's cauliflower there. And sorry, I sort of lost my voice. So I'm gonna just try to roll today and make it all happen. Hi, everyone. Are you ready? Yeah, of course, all right, let's go. Explore. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. We've entered the complex, and as I told you before, we're going to the left, straight to the food. I'm starving, it's 9.30 in the morning and I'm having eaten breakfast. And what I've noticed is a lot of guys, like vendors, with their carts. Yeah. So that's how they transport carts. their goods. Yeah, yeah. And so oh, so you hire them to take your to your goods? Yeah, to take your to your goods oh, okay. to the parking lot and to your car. Yeah, to your car. Yeah, look, you can actually can notice that that writings, which in uh, Uzbek is uh, pronounced like Daladan Dasrhongeche, and I'll trans it translate it. Trans the meaning of that, like the fresh and fruits, just straight from the ground to your table. In America, we call it farmer table. Yeah. Right here, man. Look at this. Where's the food? In here. Will cost like it's it's so fresh that the flower I mean even uh, didn't dry. I wow! Mean, it's, it looks fresh and it's fresh. Like. So over here to the left, it's like a small. It's not really small, but it's smaller compared to the mi big dome, like a vegetable market. And you cross over. There's some stairs that goes down, and you get down and you go to the right, and then there's the street food. Yeah. I see people eating corn. Some people eating some samsas, samsas, which are the samosas. Wow, oh, here comes the food, man. Here is the food court. You can smell the meat. You can smell the lamb. It's yeah, cooking. It's, it's, it smells really tasty. Oh okay. my god, it smells incredible. And what he's saying is that everybody's gonna try to attract us to their spot. So you're gonna be like, hey, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, let's see, let's see. There will be a little competition between yeah. them. Hey, man. Whoever, whoever wins is the one who, <laughs> who attracts me with the best food. All right, so I'm actually gonna try the beef. Oh my god, lamb, the beef. Lamb. Oh, it's lamb. lamb. Oh, so this is lamb. The other one was beef. Okay, so there's lamb sausage wrapped in intestines. <laughs> That's freaking incredible. Mmm. You taste the lamb, super tender. Oh, what is this? Horse. Yes. This is horse. But it's horse with cheese? Yeah, it's called nari. Mmm. This is good. So it's horse mixed with cheese, though, right? Yes. Wow, what flavor. Horse is like a little gamier, a little more dense, the meat. Yeah, I love actually. it, man. Love it. But right now, I'm inside the flame of this kebab, so I'm, I'm cooking right now. <laughs> <laughs> kebab. This is, it's called hanim. Oh, so this is like a dumpling. Yeah, it's like a dumpling and it's made from the tomato sauce mixed with chills, ch chili and onion. And it's, in our country, it's mostly liked it by the woman. I'll try some, I'll try some. Salam alaikum. Up here, man, Bolam. Here, Yashim, Sbola, John. Salam alaikum. Kruvala, Salam. Right. All right, so here we have breakfast. We have three local delicacies. This is, what's the name? It's, a, it's called Narun. Narun? Narun, it's made with horse meat. And cheese. Yes, and cheese. Wow, and some onions on top. 
and somewhere and yes, it's in Malaysia. And this one is called <coughs> Hanum. Like you say, it's similar to Chinese dumpling. Yeah, so it's Hanum. It's like a hanum. huge Chinese dumpling. On top, they have a red sauce. There's some onions. Onions and sauce made with, uh, from tomato. From tomato, okay. Yes. So lamb sausage, and what's the name of it? It's called Hasuk. Hasuk. And it's got a little bit soup. Look, it's really delicious. Right. And okay, you can start from. from I'll start from here. this one. Why not? Bold, 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 bold. I don't know. Oh my god, super delicious Everybody tender. I mean, it was the same as before, how I had it. I had it straight. This one, it sort of absorbed the nice broth. Oh, I need the soup. I need to help, like, clear my voice. Mm. Is it hot enough? Oh, dude, it's perfect, it's perfect. Mm. Oh my god. Look how many people are here. I know, I know. It's packed. Pizza, yes. But and packed. we got also kebab. Whoa, I can... yes, Thank you. We got also kebab. Look at this, guys. It got a lot of calories. <laughs> a lot of calories. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care about that right now. For breakfast, it will be really, really strong breakfast <laughs> right now. Mm. Maybe I don't know. Maybe what's the calories? Mm. Do you like it? It's one of my favorite lamb soups ever. I mean, just explosion of flavor, nice fresh lamb. You could tell how fresh it is. I mean, it's never been frozen, literally butchered this morning. Yeah. It was raised in the farm yesterday. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, I can eat more it of this. It's never been frozen yet. Everything you try here is made just here. two or three hours. Wow. And this one? It's called Hanum. The yeah. Hanum. You got a potato inside of it. Oh, so it's potato inside? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll advise you to mix with, with some of this. Yes. Go ahead. Do it that. <laughs> Good. It's crazy. The flavors give me a big taste. Like a very comparative to pasta in Italy yeah, with like some yeah. tomato sauce, you know? Yeah. Wow. It's very long, pretty big dumpling, very thin dough, so you get a lot of potatoes inside. And it's like t potatoes that have been almost turned into like super thin like french fries, but obviously not fried. They're just like super nice and yummy. Yeah, I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, and, and actually, I yeah, give me a really good definition, precise definition for that. Get a little more, right? I have to, I'm eating everything. I'm not leaving anything here. And then that you'll tell which was the best. We still have the horse dish and a kebab, but before I do that, I'm gonna serve us some tea because I need it right now. This is the best thing to clear your throat. Oh, it's too hot though, it's too hot. It's too really hot, man. All right, so we're gonna leave this to the side for now. It's a green tea, green tea with lime, actually. Green tea with lime? Yeah. That's amazing. I had it yesterday, so I know what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, this, this looks incredible. I had a little bit earlier, so you put it in my mouth, but what? Not really. Good. It's like a horse salad. Mm -hmm. A little bit dense, yeah? Yeah, a little bit dense. The cheese is very nice. I don't know exactly what cheese this is. Not too much flavor in the cheese. It's the flavor comes out of the horse, you know? Out of meat, yeah. Because the meat is flavored. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I love the crunch with the onion. Oh, man. Onion always makes everything a little better, you know? No, this, this you, is too you, you good. You like it the most, eh? Lamb sausage, yeah. The lamb sausage is phenomenal. Think it's uh, cool enough? Hot, hot tea. Oh my god. <laughs> In a super hot weather. Oh, <laughs> too hot, sun. too yeah. hot. Oh. The lamb. Mm. All right, and the last thing we have to try is the beef kebab. This country is famous for their kebabs. Look at this delicious piece of meat. Wow. Yes. It looks incredible. So my friend's telling me is that it's lamb fat beef meat. Lamb fat beef meat. Actually, right. Whoa. Yeah, it's really, it's my, it's my favorite food. And one of the most favorite foods of every Uzbek, actually. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, the combination it's, is it's, insane. It's, it's mostly eaten food in Uzbekistan. Clove? 
and the kebab. Love the kebab? Yes. Wow, this kebab is up there with some of the best kebabs I've had in my life. I've had amazing kebabs Honestly. in India. This is up there, yeah, because I mean, the delicious, juicy, gelatin fat of the lamb yeah, yeah. combined Excellent. with the beef right. meat. Yes, it's one of the best combinations. <laughs> and culinary. Yeah. So good. The reason why it's crispy actually is a uh, pouring on on top of that the bread. The bread? Yeah, so you have bread. like a bread crust. I didn't know that man, you should have told me that. <laughs> I don't want to gain too much weight, man. <laughs> no no no. <laughs> Dude, this, okay. this is like a, a we'll just walk Look at this. About this is a weapon. Yes. Alright, so we basically tried everything. Four delicious dishes. My favorite thing is the lamb sausage. Guys, this is so phenomenal. I've had lamb lots of places around the world, some of the best. I've had it in Greece, I've had it in the Faroe Islands, I've had it in North America, I mean, but here, super fresh, super delicious, very moist. You can really feel that farm to table, you know, like literally on the farm yesterday eating grass, Yeah. here today. Super fresh. Too good. I'm really glad, I'm really glad that you have compared our sausage to the Ireland and American sausage. <laughs> Dude, it's a phenomenal. It's and, for us. and the soup? No, yeah, no, bro. It's a really good soup. But like, like you are actually melting, yeah, man. Look, but I need look it. Look at this, guys. <laughs> you are melting. It's I, too hot for I you. woke up with no voice. I think it's helping me. Yeah, it will help. Maybe it's the green tea helps the most. Yes. <laughs> oh man, the flavor. Mind blowing. Yeah. And the way this place works is basically whichever vendor you're buying from, she has seats behind her inside, you know, this food hall. You sit down in the seats and it's communal sitting. You sit down, other people sit with you, you know, in front of you, to the side of you, everywhere. And that's it. And this meal, the entire meal costs 56,000 some, which is roughly, the exchange right now is like five, six US dollars. Yes. Really amazing. Yes. Wow. And it's way of Uzbek networking actually, sitting together. Yeah, so you <laughs> talk to them. Yeah. She's, she's my new family here. When you enter this food hall area, there's two different sections. There's the right, there's the left. Here on the left is actually a little different because they have more fish stuff. A few different fish, and they have some chicken as well. Over here was mainly lamb, beef, kebabs, uh, the horse, right? And yeah, I mean, that's what you find over there. Very similar, I mean, almost exactly the same. The only big difference was the fish over here and the chicken, because there was no fish and chicken over there. Everybody here is too friendly. They're, they're all really yeah, amazing. They're too friendly. They're you're fine, you're fine. He's fitting, he's All right, how do you say thank you again? Thank you. Rahmat. Rahmat. Thank you. Rahmat. Thank you, thank you. And I wish you a good house. Yeah. So I tell you that they're really pretty guys. Yeah. Pretty guy? Yeah, you're a pretty guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we found a vendor here selling plo, which is the national dish of Uzbekistan. Basically, it's a mix of rice. We have some raisins. I don't know what else. That's some vegetables. Egg. Here we have beef. Looks so good. It actually reminds me of a biryani. Obviously not the same thing at all. Biryani is very different with different rices. This looks very similar. Looks fantastic. Small quail eggs, some really hot chilies. And look, just mix it up right here. And take a big bite. No, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank that you. was a nice joke, man. <laughs> Walking back to the main section of the bazaar, where we're going through this huge area of just souvenirs. They got clothing. They have like, you know, some pottery. They have beautiful plates that have been painted by hand. Just incredible. I love these paint, like these painted plates. What else is there? What, what is that? Who's that guy? Old Uzbek hostile grandfather with a potter bread on his hand. Like he's welcoming any guests to his home. And here we go, we're finally entering the main section of the bazaar, the dome. Wow. What kind of things are happening? Right now we are entering the counter where mostly sale meat. They mostly sell meat. And so right here is all meat right here. Oh yeah. That's all, all meat, meat. Yeah. and then behind us we have spices. Yes. Lots of beautiful Excellent. spices. And on the top we got a dried fruits. Okay. Wow, this is a massive dome. It feels like I'm in a stadium. Yeah, it's like, like a massive stadium. And, but you have so many delicious, look at that. It's like cow hand paws, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, what is it called? The, the hoofs, the hoofs. Lime brief, oh, wow. Beef ribs. Beef ribs. Beef ribs. Wow, the smell is just amazing here. Dude, it's, it's really nice. Like meat. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, 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 it smells like a butchery. Butchery. <laughs> butchery, yeah, yeah. It's fine though, I mean, this is what I like about traveling. You get to see and, and understand different cultures. This place is all about the meats. They love meat, horse, lamb, beef. They eat it all. So all this is beef, right? No, 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 just look. Lamb, beef, horse, and chicken. Yeah, I mean, I mean all this is meat, all this area. Yeah, it's all meat, yeah. All wow. types of meat there. So I mean, Incredible. And really good prices. 39,000 39, for that? Yeah, 39,000 for that. Wow. What a but deal. It, it's about uh, $4 yeah. per kilo. But look, um, that's a lot. You sing a lot? Wow. No, that's not a lot. In, in America, in America, it costs so much but, more per but kilo. But it's, it's about the, it's about taste. Right? I know, I it's know. Organic ones. Look at, look at the big. Oh my God! Wait, I see this one right here. This is amazing. This is wow! Look at this, dude. Okay, I watched them. End. I watched them to show us a. Host. What? Look at this. A beef ribs. Something. Butcher wants to teach me how to do this. Okay, okay. Okay. So you want to try it? All right, I'll try it. Definitely. All right. Okay. So pull here, right? All right. So he basically wants me to do the whole thing. So I'm gonna do it. I actually like chopping. It's one of my favorite things to do in the kitchen. So I could have been a butcher. A butcher. You did chop on or? My hand, my finger. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, clean now? Yeah, and then the napkin is clean. I have some wet wipes, so I'll clean my hands. Here it is, the horse sausage, famous horse sausage. It's wow, this horse sausage is huge. Yeah, it's huge, and it's it's considered as a strong meat, which gives a strength to a man. Horse sausage is an aphrodisiac. American, American. The meat is smoked, so that's not so fresh. Is the reason to smoke the meat to get a more strange. Yeah, but they're saying don't eat too much of it. Yeah. You're not gonna feel so yeah. good. Yeah, you, you'll not feel so good. Wow. I want to try it though. We can't try it here though. I gotta try it outside well, we of here. We can try it here. We'll try, try it outside because okay. that's a raw one. Yeah. What is that? That's a huge liver? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, look, look. That's a heart. That's the heart. That's the heart? Yeah, that's a heart. That's the heart of the horse? Yeah, I was thinking, I was like, it looks like a heart, but it's huge. And right here we have beef liver. Look how huge this liver is. Dude. It's like a huge steak. Yeah. I love Actually, liver, by the way. I love it. We've been exploring the meat market area for like 20 minutes. It's like non-stop carcasses. You have so many different organs. So so many different like types of animals there as well. That uh, you know, beef bones or cow bones. Just endless, endless area. And now we made it here to the second floor, and this is nuts. Lots this, of nuts. Yeah, this is encounter for the dry fruits. Oh, this nuts. is okay. Dry fruits as well. Wow, I didn't see that. And as Uzbek delights. Wow. Right, Dude, they look amazing. Yeah, yeah, Everything yeah. looks so good. Whoa, how big is this? Wow, and the view from here is amazing. Oh, now, dude, this is the view. <laughs> yes. This is the view. Especially the top side of it. Yeah, because the light comes in from the top and from the side, so yeah, it yeah. really brightens up the whole and, dome. And, and one of the distinguished things of, of this place, of the architecture of this place, is that it never gets too hot inside because it was planted like that, it was constructed like that. Even if it's outside, it's 50 or 60 degrees, inside of it, it will be 10 or 8 degrees slower. So as you can see, there's endless dried fruits, peanuts, there's figs. I'm gonna try a dried apricot. I actually love this. This and dried strawberries are my favorites. Wow. Mm. Dude, I love how dense it is. The dryness, the soda, all oh, the water. Mmm. So it still has a nice fruity taste. Almost feels like like chewing gum in a fruit style. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this? Is this a prune? 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 Yeah, this is a prune for sure. Mmm. Yeah, this one's way more dense. Hard to chew. Mmm. Prunes are really good for you. You should eat five prunes a day to clear, you know, your body, basically. Help go to the bathroom. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. it helps go to the bathroom. I always do it. Five prunes every single day. I love it. This one's actually super dry. I usually have them a little more moist. One thing they just told me is that all these fruits are dried in the shade, not in the sun. So the difference is they don't lose all the moisture. They're a little juicier, you know, really nice. 
They're really good. I would buy some, but I don't need to take it with me. I'm eating food all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try a dried kiwi. Dried kiwi, one, one. Let's try this guy. And does it taste like a fresh tea? Kiwi? <laughs> oh yeah. That's good. That's the best kiwi ever. <laughs> okay. Mmm. So nice and moist. No dense as well. Mmm. I love the flavor. I mean, it's a straight up kiwi that has been like reduced, but not to the point of extreme. So being in the shade is the best part. So if you want to buy a really good gift, buy one of these that's an assortment of fruits and uh, what else is in here? Oh, some nuts. So fruits, nuts. This is awesome. Yeah, man. I would take it, but my bag is going to be way too full on the way out of Uzbekistan. This entire second level is just made up of vendors selling dried fruits, nuts, and spices. That's it. Hundreds of them. Hundreds. You can go around and basically just see the same thing over and over again. So we just, you know, explored a little area, tried a few things. Now we're going to go down and go to where? The souvenir market? Yeah. The market for souvenirs, seeds, and other textiles. So what are that? Just mad, mad textiles, right? Yeah, mad textiles. Wow, incredible. The famous big textiles called Tadras in the place. Tadras. Adras. 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 Right here we have a like, small little restaurant. Here it's just like they're just selling it's like what sausages, cheese. Bro, oh, this market is forever. Wow. So we have to go through another area of fruits and spices just to get to where we're going. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, the, the aroma. Smell of the yeah. Aroma it's incredible. It. Wow, lots of tourists here. Wow, it is hot. I love how they have this covering though, so let the air like come through the breeze. Well, That's it parts of vegetables then we'll go there or there and there so a lot of fruits and we'll go downside and we'll find the souvenirs to get to the souvenir market we have to go through this clothing market and they're selling like everything i mean we're just weaving through the entire clothing market there's some like guys like playing the flute right here lots of shoes lots of shirts and we're just making our way through i mean it's really a maze so many things and one thing you guys have to know is that Uzbekistan is super affordable everything is very very cheap in terms of like being a western and being used to like western cost this is super super affordable and here you got like bags what else clothing look so we've been going around looking for the souvenir area and what happened is that area has actually been under renovations so right now all the vendors are spread out all around the bazaar and this guy we just met he actually owns three of the shops and they're all next to each other so we're gonna go over there and see what he has for sale i'm hoping i find something really nice all right so this is his shop wow super nice love it he has a lot of vests up here and then here we have all these little figurines of the old men like the old guy right is all over uzbekistan and they also have some beautiful some beautiful hats right here these are like hats traditional hats how do i look with the hat let me see. Is that? Yeah. Does that look <laughs> you good? Look like Uzbek. I look Uzbek. Oh, what is yeah. that? It's a boot. May I leather? Oh, nice. Nice. This is cool. All right. So I found a few things I liked. I got a fruit basket. Really beautiful. Uh, I think this one's like eighty thousand. So something like uh, ten bucks. Eight yes, bucks. Yes. That ten. Uh, that's yeah. eight bucks. Eight yeah. bucks. Same thing here, 80, 90. So each one is like, you know, seven, eight dollars, nine dollars. Super affordable, really beautiful. I think my wife's gonna love it. This is how you serve the food. So you serve it with this. That's for the fruit. I got an extra one of these because I got two yesterday for my daughters, but I forgot to get one for my for my niece. So I gotta get one for her. Really beautiful. Love the, you know, the the designs here. Super nice, the way they crafted it. And then I also got the hat. I think the hat's a gift, right? It's a gift, I think so. <laughs> well guys, today we enjoyed an amazing time here at the Bazaar. Such an incredible spot. When you come to Tashkent, you have to experience it. Take the morning, come here at eight in the morning, have some breakfast, then explore. We've been here, man, we've been here for four straight hours and we haven't even like seen it all. I mean, it's so much. If you really wanna go shopping, eat fruit, try different things, it's really nonstop. My favorite thing had to be the food in the beginning. I had the most delicious lamb sausage soup of all time. I really loved like that dumpling. I really liked the horse as well. I mean, everything was so good. And then all that with some super hot green tea, just epic. I mean, going to see all the carcasses was really cool too, but the food was better, the food was better. Well guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Uzbekistan. Where have you been? Oh,